Hi, I'm Thomas Ault. I'm out at the Southwest Purdue Ag Center to meet with Valerie Klingerman, Purdue Extension Ag and Natural Resources Educator in Knox County, to talk about weeds and their management. In today's episode, we will be comparing giant ragweed and common ragweed. Ragweed species are also common in Indiana and most of us affiliate ragweeds with our allergies um, due to the pollen that they, they produce. Uh, there are two different um, types of ragweeds in Indiana that are very common. First is giant ragweed. It gets its name because it can grow up to about 17 feet tall. Uh, the cotyledons or the first leaves that come out look like spoons and um, common ragweed, which will be the other one that we discuss, also has those spoon-shaped cotyledons, but they're much smaller than the giant ragweeds. Once giant ragweed starts getting big, it'll have combinations of these um, leaves that don't have the lobes versus the deeply lobed leaves that always kind of remind me of like a crown or a tiara. Um, so giant ragweed, once again, can get very large, um, can have some um, control issues with it, as well as with common ragweed. Um, common ragweed, we have these very deeply lobed leaves on the common ragweed. Um, once again, those cotyledons are those spoon shaped. They're really thick, but they're just a lot smaller um, than giant ragweed. And generally, common ragweed's only about three to six foot tall versus the 17 feet tall that giant ragweed can, can reach. Um, control options, once again, it's an annual, summer annual weed, so controlling it while it's small is preferable. Um, tilling the live plants up can control them. Um, but also leaving, if, if they do happen to set seed, leaving those seed on the soil surface can help because um, birds and other insects and other creatures will eat those seeds. Um, some ragweeds have been found to be resistant to glyphosate or ALS products, so just make sure you know those populations if you decide to chemically control them and read and follow all those labels um, to make sure that you're applying the correct product. Didn't find the weed you were looking for? Check the links below for more Purdue Extension related weed information. Again, I'm Thomas Alt. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click that like button.